Hello everyone, in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So why don't you to use your calculator? So here is a problem, we have 2 minus 2 times 2 minus 2. So very simple problem on the first side, yeah? But a lot of students do this common mistake, yeah? And I showed this mistake later, yeah? So let's choose your correct option. What do you think is the correct option to this problem? We have a lot of options right here on the left hand side. We have 0, 1, 2 and minus 4. And I suggest you to try to solve it by yourself and write your option in the, in the comment. What do you think is a correct correct answer? Yeah? Because obviously whatever order you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Yeah? So we need to understand what is the correct order of operation in this interesting question. Because a lot of students solve it like that. A lot, um, a lot of parts solve it like that. So we have 2 minus 2 times 2 minus 2. A lot of students see, okay, right here, right here I have 2 minus 2 and they know that this is equal to 0. And they do this first step and they say, okay, in the end 2 minus 2 equal to 0. So they know this step and then 0 times 0 equal to 0. So they want to solve it in the easier way. Yeah, so they say correct answer is zero. And let's let's check it. Let's check the correct answer because I as I told before, we need to, to see a correct order of operation. So right here we have PMDMC order. Let's look at this order. So what is the first step? Right here we go from the top to the bottom. So the first we have parentheses right here. Yeah. So the first step we need to work with parentheses. Do we have parentheses right here? So I don't see any parentheses right here. So we don't have parentheses brackets. So this is really great because we just skip this part. Okay, the next one, we have exponents. So do we see any exponents, any squares, any cubes right here? So I don't see any of those, so we just skip this part as well. And this is really great because maybe this is the main difficult part with parentheses and exponents, we just skip this part right here. Then multiplication and division part, this is one really important group, multiplication and division. This is one group, yeah? So right here we have multiplication, which is really great. So I just wanted to rewrite this problem, so 2 minus 2 times 2 minus 2. Okay. Don't have parentheses, don't have exponent, we have multiplication. So multiplication we have right here and we multiply these two numbers. So we need to start with this with this multiplication. So 2 times 2 equal to equal to 4. So right here we have 4. And right here in the end we have minus 2 and in the beginning we have 2 minus. So we have this expression. We don't have division. Then we have addition and subtraction part and moreover you don't need this PMDMC order in the end because this like simple subtraction right here we can easily you can easily solve it and the answer is minus minus 4. And according to PMDMC order this is a correct answer and moreover a lot of internet maybe uh, most of internet all internet libraries solve it like solve it like that so a correct answer is minus 4 option, option, option D. And then I answer to my students, okay, do you want to answer 0 right here? And then I tell them, okay, if you put brackets, if you put parentheses, you will have your answer 0 because you need to start with parentheses and then this is a correct approach to start with parentheses. You will have like right here you will have 0 and right here you will have 0. Okay, if you want to get 0, you need to put brackets, you need to put parentheses because according to PMDMC order, you need to start with this step. You need to start with parentheses, 0, 0, and you will have like a correct answer. answer. But in our case, the main obvious answer A is absolutely incorrect. The correct answer is option, option D. So our answer, option D minus 4, yeah? So I hope you understand this explanation. Really tricky question and I hope your answer is the same. But definitely don't feel bad if you if you got this wrong. Okay, now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you're struggling with basic math or a pre-algebra concept, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.